Korg 770, which was my favourite one, and I myself don't have one, which is a bit sad. Um, it's very similar to this, which is Korg 700. Um, and we would use this for a lot of riffs and bass parts. Because um, I don't have one now, the best thing, closest thing to it now is this, the Volker Keys. Um, so, we are saying about the Human League songs, so Love Action, which again, we've got Korg here. Um, the original recording used the Lin drum computer which now, all the sounds from that nicely loaded into the called Volker Sampler. We've got, that's a Lin drum machine on the Volker, uh, Volker Sample. And the, the bass line for that song then done on the Korg 770, similar to this. So it doesn't quite do what the Korg 770 did, but Volker keys, I can get exactly the right sound, the same sound as I would have done on the Korg 770. So that would be... So that's more like Korg 770 and it's got a little better resonance on it and a little sharper attack on it as well. Hey. There was a song called Circus of Death where the bass part was it's in triplets so we had a, a, a trigger coming from somewhere doing triplets so he held down one key so he had a sound like that but the the uh, it was chopped up by the signal so you just held your finger down like that but you held it down it went and then you just changed from note to note and i don't know whether the Someone in the road crew had forgotten to plug the trigger in, but um, it didn't come through, so I had to quickly flick from external to internal and play it as triplet. So, do, 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 about four minutes, and I got cramp in both hands. For <laughs> four minutes or so, cramping at both hands, and sort of after, after the show, um, going backstage and because I had to fiddle with this I've missed the first couple of bars by setting it from external to internal. I said to everybody, oh sorry the first couple of bars weren't there, I had a technical problem. And nobody had noticed. How I managed to do triplets all the way through that, I don't know. So I certainly hands suffered from it. Um, so yeah, um, things things went wrong. Yeah. No, didn't do any music till about two years ago. I started again. I love things like make cutting up analog tape, making tape loops, and putting, as I said, putting electric guitars through all sorts of things, even through VCS3 synthesizers and just to mess and get something different. I did an album last year and um, I mean it's a couple of years ago I thought I've got all these um, what are now known as vintage synthesizers up in an attic. I ought to get them down and see if they work. Somebody, somebody might be interested in having them or buying them. But of course, to get them to work, most of them are, are modules in a rack, so you have to plug them in to get them. To, so I had to plug them into a keyboard to see if they work, and that which led to hooking them up to some sequencing software. And uh, before I knew it, I was writing stuff. So um, after ten songs, I thought, well, that's, that's an album. So, and. Uh, It'll get released at some point, it'll be out on iTunes. When? I'm not sure, but um, yeah. certainly the Volk Keys gets used a lot. I just love putting a sequence in on Keybase, a sequence of notes that are in the key I'm working in, without any idea of what sort of sound I want, and just letting that sequence loop round and round, 
and just fiddle with the Volker because I love I love sounds. You know, I can manipulate with the, with my fingers like that, and it's perfect. And just just let the sequence go around until I get something like it. That's a good sound, and then I'll record it. But what what I find as well because it's um, again we used to do this with Korg and uh, other synthesizers was would be to do more than one pass, and even if it was being um, driven by a computer. Because it's analog, when you record two or three passes, they're all slightly different to each other, which is another analog thing. And again, that's where you get these great, great sounds. So with the Volker keys, I mean, almost everything I do, uh, I will record two or maybe three passes of it, just to get that. And of course, you then can spread it across the stereo as well. So, yeah.